Guess who's back? Back again. Bonjour, my dude. If you happen to recognise this background, this chef hat, this microphone and my face, well, you might be one of the intellectuals who watched my protein pancake tutorial. If that is the case, then I think that today's video might be for you, because I'm bringing you the second instalment of Cooking with Cat. I'll be your host, Cat Branchweiler, and today we're going to be making some high-protein, low-calorie French toast. Now, you would have already seen this recipe if you follow me over on Instagram, at Cat the Cucumber, so I recommend you do so so that you don't miss out on fabulous pictures like this one. As per usual, I'm going to be weighing out all of the ingredients today for your benefit, but your measurements don't have to be as precise as mine. I'll link all the ingredients I use in the description below. I think that's about it, so let's hand it over to Voice of a Cat and get on with the recipe. Welcome to this tutorial on how to make protein eggy bread by yours truly, Kami Bolivar. Grab yourself a chopping board and your nearest bowl, because we're going to start by preparing our toppings. Why haven't I learnt from last time? What a fabulous question, Cat, but unfortunately I haven't got time to answer that for you. Instead, I'm going to tell our viewers to start chopping up their fruit of choice. Um, looks like we're working with some holy strawberries today. Feel free to get creative here, but if you ask me, I would recommend a various assortment of berries. Look at them, they're so pretty. In particular, strawberries, raspberries and blueberries. Okay, so after you've prepared your fruit toppings of choice, it's time to make the actual French toast. So what I'm going to be using is some toast, obviously, toast bread, just egg whites. So I've just got them in a little carton here. Very fancy. We're going to be using some cinnamon, optional, but makes it taste great, and vanilla extract. If you want it a little bit sweeter as well, you can add some sweetener or some sugar. I would recommend making your little egg concoction thing in a wide bowl plate because we're going to be dipping the toast in and like surface area masses and stuff. I don't make any sense. <sighs> Grab your kitchen scale, put that UFO shaped bowl of yours on top and then start by pouring in 180 grams of egg whites. Or, alternatively, the whites of six eggs. You'll have to excuse me whilst I try and refrain from cracking any extravagant egg yolks. I do know a couple of excellent ones, if I may say so myself. The spoons are back. Grabbing a set measuring spoons, you can now go ahead and add half a teaspoon of Christmas powder. <laughs> I mean, um, cinnamon. <laughs> Does anyone remember when the cinnamon challenge was a thing? Let's like not do that again, okay? That is genuinely dangerous. Please don't do that. For your own health and safety, take the advice, kids. But also, I don't want any angry parents suing me. Why not go ahead and add half a teaspoon of vanilla extract to your potion? That's a far better use of your time. I don't know, you're ah! You better stop, stop! Why does vanilla extract taste so bad? Okay. Actually, on that note, vanilla extract, if you're in the UK, Sainsbury's vanilla extract, that stuff is like spicy water. I don't understand how that makes anything taste flavorful. On the other hand, Aldi vanilla extract, that stuff is good. So if you're planning to like consume vanilla extract by the table, don't, don't consume vanilla extract by the tablespoon. Let's not make that a thing. Okay, let's move on. Whilst I avoid another lawsuit, you can go ahead and add some sugar or sweetener to your mixture if you wanted to do so, and then whisk it in with a fork. Oh, it actually works quite well. Don't worry, I washed the fork. Also, let's not talk about the massive Rudolph spot on my nose, okay? Thank you. I should also probably mention, I'm very sorry if this is not the video that you wanted. I promise we are not going to become a cooking channel. I am just currently a little bit busy, so I'm trying to get you a video, but also trying to work towards cool things. So there'll be better things in the future. I promise. That's why it's great to follow me on Instagram, because there's lots of teasers on there. Moving on to step 364. Begin by preheating a nonstick pan. Sorry about that. And then grab your bread, because we're about to start cooking. Okay. Yes, I'm having four slices of French toast. Stop judging me, that's not cool. Just eat however much French toast you want. If it makes you happy, have 20 pieces. No one's gonna care. Honestly, I'm so glad that I'm making this video so that I have an excuse to make French toast again, because I absolutely love it. Eat as much French toast as you want, my friends. That's the message. 
Once you have your desired amount of bread and your pan is hot, tis now time to cook our toasts. <gasps> New angle unlocked. I hope you can hear me over the stovetop. We are going to be dipping the toast into its bread, right? It's bread before it's toasted. We're going to be dipping the bread into our egg mixture, which I'm not going to pick up because I've learned from that mistake. We're not going to be spilling any more eggs. So that goes in there. And you're just going to want to soak it. I'll just show you that. And once you've soaked your bread on both sides, you can go ahead and put it in your pan. I like to do it two at a time, but it obviously depends on the size of your pan. The heat is basically the same as when you're cooking a sunny side up egg or an omelette or something. So just make sure that when the bottom is cooked that you flip it and if it's nice and golden brown, then you've done it right. Of course, when I'm filming, I burn stuff. <laughs> it tastes better than it looks, I promise. Next to... Topping time. Protein. And that, my friends, is how you make protein French toast. I know in my last video I said that protein pancakes are the second best thing that I've ever eaten. Okay, but like, I'm gonna have to take it back because I kind of... I kind of prefer these, just, I think they might be my second favourite food ever. Sorry, protein pancakes, but these take the lead. That is so nice. So good. Try it and send me your pictures. Anyways, my dudes, I'm going to try and keep this outro short and sweet because I know I can drag on a little bit. Keep doing what makes you smile. Keep eating what makes you smile. Stay classy and stay cool. I'll see you in the next one. Toodles. Oh, oh, wait. Dang it.